In 5.1.1h, we're told that z is normally distributed with a mean of 0, standard deviation of 1. I want to find x so that the probability that the absolute value of z less than or equal to x equals 0.31. Okay, so this is the kind of problem where we know the probability and we're looking for z. The problem that throws us off here is that we're talking about an absolute value. So when it's the absolute value is less than or equal to, that means that we're talking about things kind of here in the middle. So absolute value less than or equal to means in the middle. If you have a hard time believing that, try something like come over here. Let's say absolute value is less than or equal to 3. And then try and figure out what that means. So this would be all the values from negative 3 to 3, right? Because if I try negative 3, that would work. Negative 2 works, 0 works, 1 works, 2 works, etc. So saying we're kind of in between. Or if you prefer, you could do that negative x is less than or equal to z is less than or equal to little x equals 0.31. So that means here's the x, this is the negative value of x, and we're looking for the area in between is 0.31. Now our table does not give us areas for in between. Our table only gives us areas to the left, so let's figure out what that would be. So we have 0.31 in the middle. So let's figure out how much that leaves for each side. So if we do 1 minus 0.31 and divide it by 2, because there's two tails, that gives me 0.345. So if there's 0.31 in the middle, that means there's 1 minus that is 0.69 total for both sides. Divide that by 2 and you get 0.345 in either side. There's two ways you can do this. We can go look up just the 0.345 in the table. Remember our table always gives us areas to the left. So we go to our normal table and we're looking for that area of 0.345. Remember the areas are always in the middle, so look in the middle for 0.345. Keep going down. 0.345. This one looks like it's probably the closest option. So Z is going to be negative 0.40. So that negative 0 0.40 is this negative x value. And then by symmetry, this would have to be positive 0 0.40. Or, if you prefer, you can say, well, what's 0.345 plus 0.31? Because that would give you all the area from here to here. So if you add those together, we can also look up. Let's see, add it together, 0.655. So if we go to our normal table and look up 0.655, this one looks like the closest, so that's z equals 0.40. Oh, wait, we already knew that from symmetry. So two different ways to figure out that the specific z value, or in this case x value you're looking for, is 0.40. So x equals 0.40.